What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here, and in this video I wanted to talk about the new seasonal activity with Season of the Wish, the Coil. It has been getting a lot of praise, and many people are saying it is better than Menagerie, which is pretty much the gold standard of seasonal activities. And while it is a pretty fun activity, I don't think it is up to par with the Menagerie, and I'll talk about why. The loot is great, the progressive difficulty is very cool, and the roguelite elements are a fun addition. They experimented with this in Season of the Deep, but it is better now because you can actually select the upgrades that you want. So don't get me wrong, I think it is a very good activity. Deep dives were fun, Altars of Summoning were excellent in my opinion, and Coil is also good. Maybe it is too early to judge fully until we have gotten to play a whole season with it, maybe Bungie will expand on it, but one thing that I really do not like and that I know isn't going to change is the reward structure. The amount of loot you get is very rewarding and I think that aspect is great, but how that loot is handed out is stupid in my opinion. I fucking hate that it is tied to how many pots you break. I've not failed a coil so to speak, like ran out of lives, so I am guessing you just head to orbit and don't get loot. That would be quite harsh for an activity that can take upwards of an hour, so I'm not sure. But for the love of god, why is the loot not tied to performance? It is instead tied to exploring every traversal area looking for pots. That is dumb as shit in my opinion. And the worst part is they already have a reason to search for the pots. The pots reward you with upgrade materials to be used at Riven. So if you take the time to break them, then you will be rewarded with buffs that help you further in the activity. But if I am confident in my team's ability to beat the content without grabbing the buffs, and say we do beat it, then we should be rewarded just the same. I shouldn't have to piss around chasing pots to get a platinum score. If I kill all the enemies at the hardest difficulty, then I should be rewarded for doing so. Deep dives were like this, you got more rewards for doing higher tiers, but the higher tiers were more difficult. And to compare it to Menagerie, it was actually the opposite concept. The quicker and better you could do the mechanics, the more you were rewarded. In this case, you were rewarded with time. Each encounter had a bar that had to be filled, and when you filled it, you got to progress to the next encounter. If you didn't fill it, then you would have to do more and more encounters to get the bar full so you could get to the final boss. So if you were proficient, you would get to the end chest quicker. So that was your reward. Not more loot, but faster loot. Coil artificially slows you down if you want more loot. This is ass backwards and really rubs me the wrong way. Now, I do love how rewarding it is to get the big amount of loot at the end. I think that is great. Menagerie wouldn't be looked on nearly as fondly if there wasn't the chest glitch that allowed you to get focus loot 3-4 to four times per run instead of once per run. I mean, let's be real, that was a 20 minute 6 man activity. To only get one gun from it would be pretty stingy. But Destiny was also a lot different back then. Loot is literally showered on us now. Not that I have a problem with that. I am saying Menagerie was too stingy, not that the coil is too rewarding. But speaking of that, Menagerie is still the best as it gave you agency in what rewards you got. This doesn't matter so much anymore as the chase is all about red borders now anyways, so I just end up deleting 99% of my coil loot. But yeah, I'll definitely take the Ascendant Alloys, those are nice. And like I said, the gameplay and the encounters are definitely fun. The length is whatever. You can't just do a quick coil on your lunch break or anything, so it's not ideal in that regard, but if you know that it can be up to an hour in length and set aside that time, then it is an enjoyable experience. But what I don't enjoy is having to search high and low for every single pot so that I get rewarded properly at the end. I should note that two of my runs were solo, so this took longer than it would in a fire team. In my fire team runs, I was done a platinum in about 45 minutes, versus 20 or so minutes longer when I was solo. And things should take longer solo, so I get that. But I just think the reward structure is stupid. We should be rewarded for good gameplay. And speaking of solo versus fire teams, I heard the enemies scale when you are in a fire team. Nord Avalon did this, and in a three man fire team, the enemies were so freaking beefy. Like mad bullet sponges. Where in the coil with a fire team, I didn't even really notice a difference. So GG's to Bungie for getting their fire team scaling right in this activity. It feels much better than Nord Avalon did. Menagerie also had a heroic menagerie which was very challenging, and you had to do each variant flawlessly to get the shadow seal. I wish there was a more coveted seal in Destiny still. Like, if you had to do the coil flawless to get that seal. That would add some prestige, but whatever. And lastly, I'm sure this will get fixed, but I got the upgrade for scorched solar damage and it caused me to be scorched and would ignite me and kill me. This is not great in an activity where revives actually matter. Luckily, we got it done anyways, even with my bullshit deaths and I know a bugs are a part of destiny, but I just wanted to point this out. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the coil. 
It's a good activity with a very stupid reward structure. Kind of like how Iron Banner didn't show kills during the turret game mode. People don't care how many turrets they killed, they want to know their KD. Let me know how you are liking the new season down in the comments. So far, I'm a very big fan. The artifact is dope this season, the dungeon is probably the best we've ever had, the activity is fun, the story is cool. So yeah, so far, big fan. Thanks for watching to the end if you're still here, I really do appreciate it. Happy coil farming and take care.